Thank you for uh, inviting me to the Basque government. Uh, I'm very proud of standing here. Uh, I could talk to you a year about what we're going to do today, uh, because uh, I've lived through this for the last 14 years. Um, there's no easy way doing what we are doing right now. And uh, you don't find a magic solution that will save you overnight. Um, it's hard work, it's uh, intelligent work, and uh, the best governments that are actually introducing this kind of uh, international sharing of experiences, uh, I think will benefit a lot from hearing different approaches either it's in uh, Germany, France, uh, Sweden, uh, Denmark, whatever, uh, you will have a lot uh, to do, but you will see uh, that there's several ways that lead to the same target at the end of the day. Now, um, for the introduction, uh, also, uh, there's, uh, in, in terms of the Danish government uh, on, on digitalization, uh, we needed to spend our money on something else than postage. So that is also a strong driver behind uh, the strategy. Uh, you said that uh, slightly, but uh, we did need the money for a better welfare in health and in schools and public administration in general. So uh, there was a lot to use the money for instead of stamps. Now. I will uh, briefly uh, take you through uh, the next 45 minutes um, for the, uh, the presentation of what we are doing. And I will uh, afterwards be happy to answer a couple of questions uh, uh, as time allows. And uh, I will, of course, be here uh, the whole day. First of all, uh, it, started, it started with, uh, with a, a vision of uh, could you, this pile of envelopes that you have on your private desk in your private home. I mean, do you take these piles of envelopes every day and put them in a binder? No, you do not. Maybe you do. <laughs> uh, how many of you use a web bank today? A lot of you uses a web bank. If we started this question, uh, five years ago, or 10 years ago, and even 14 years ago, it would be only half of you doing this. Now, I have an old advertising thing here I would like to share with you because I think it sets the scene for what this is all about. So uh, I will now figure out whether this will play. Are you fed up with uh, window envelopes? Use e-books. Now, being Carreras, or being uh, La Poste, or being uh, Post Nord, or being uh, Deutsche Post, or being any post in the world, you need to look at yourself, because life will change. You will not have these piles of uh, envelopes dropping in your doorstep uh, in the future, something else will, uh, will happen. Now, oh, come on, we need to do this. Um, I have two kids. Um, if I uh, need to get in contact with them, which I do every day, um, I cannot send them an email and I cannot call them on a phone. I need to contact them on the internet. I, if I write on their Facebook, uh, they will be there within seconds. If uh, me and their mother send them uh, an email, uh, they will never even experience that they got it. So um, there's a lot of uh, transformation in the usage of the internet and digitalization these days. You know that, of course. Um, but what it is doing, that is, uh, there will be a whole new, well, there are already coming a whole new generation of young people 
who have never seen a fixed phone line, who have never seen a, an, a window envelope because they get it all digitalized uh, these days. These people need to do something else. They need strong, efficient uh, solutions. Um, and that is what this is about. Every year, there will be sent a ton of uh, letters in Europe. More than 80 billion letters are actually carried with a car and a nice man around for your doorstep in uh, all the European uh, households. Despite the fact that 77% of the European citizens have access to the internet. I know uh, it varies a lot from country to country and from region to region. Uh, in the Basque region, uh, you're clever on this, uh, so you do very good. Um, in several Scandinavian banks, the, the number of transactions have completed, uh, are completed by mobile banking. Um, so now you need to, to be aware of that transferring money to your son can actually be done uh, on your mobile uh, phone. More than uh, half of the transactions uh, in the Scandinavian banks are now on mobile phones. So uh, it changes a lot. They're closing banks in terms of offices in the street. Uh, everything is going digital. Uh, you can do a lot of interesting calculations on the savings and the efficiency money on this, but uh, everybody can count that 80 billion letters at approximately, whatever, uh, 0.7 euros a piece is a lot of money if you can save 90% on that one. Now, the agenda for today. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, a story about what we do. Uh, the vision and the benefits of Evox, um, what we are looking at uh, in the future, uh, and the future is uh, actually right now. Um, I will give you a couple of examples from the Danish public sector, what they do, uh, and we will look a little further into digital signing of documents. If you think saving a stamp is a lot of money, then think about a digital signing will save you maybe 100 euro per signing, uh, which is, yeah, factor 100 uh, on savings, savings and efficiency. I'll come back to that. It's very easy to, uh, to make an announcement of uh, what we are, uh, but the reality is that it's, it's difficult to actually execute we do offer companies, public authorities, and private individuals an efficient, secure, and user-friendly platform for digital dialogue. It's not just one way, a dialogue. Dispatch and storage of important documents. Um, this is what eBox is all about. You should be, uh, and this is a paradox, we are actually owned by a postal company, 50%. Post Denmark is the national state-owned post supplier in Denmark. They own 50% of the shares in eBox. Uh, post Denmark is then owned by the Swedish uh, Post Nord setup. And you will have a representative here later today from the Swedish uh, SCAT tax authorities uh, talking about what they do. Um, but it's a paradox that the Danish answer to Carreras, uh, post Denmark, is actually disrupting themselves. Think about that. They knew 10 years ago that the future will not be letters. The futures will be digitalized letters. So we need in post Denmark to do something else. So they're not losing thousands of jobs. They're converting those thousands of jobs into different logistics uh, measures. They carry out food for elderly people, helping out the municipalities. Uh, they do internet pack packages, uh, et cetera, et cetera. That's the one owner behind us. Uh, so we have public monies uh, behind us. Uh, the other owner, uh, 
used to be owned by all the banks. It's called NETS. Uh, it's a conglomerate of uh, all the Nordic banks that owns this uh, infrastructure company called NETS. It has recently, within a year, been sold off to uh, an equity fund in the States. So we have government money behind us, Nordic government money, and we have American uh, equity uh, funds behind us. So we have a pretty strong foothold in what we do. Now, if you look at um, what we do, um, we're not going to go take a deep dive in, uh, in everything here, but just to, to show you uh, how it's, uh, it's actually evolving. We do mobile solutions. Uh, we do portal solutions, including wide label solutions. And a portal solution is that I built for your company or for your local government an e-box and I put it into your own portal. So when you are actually doing something uh, on uh, your insurance company uh, web portal, you will have a small picture there in the corner being e-box. Ten years ago, everybody wanted to be the portal of the portal. You've heard that. It will not happen. Nobody will become the portal of the portals. So instead of fighting that, we decided to take our portal and make it accessible to everybody uh, that wanted to have it. It all takes to the same place down to the e-box at the end of the day. But you can be there in my insurance company, doing what you do with your insurance company, and then you can drill down and see your payslip, your bank statement, your everything else within the same view. And you can do that on any platform. Now, the two-way communication, that's actually a request by the Danish authorities. When you get an answer on a medical uh, thing with your hospital, uh, they will give you an answer in e-box, and you can reply back, I, I don't like it, or I don't want it, or I cannot do it that day. Uh, so you have a secure line where you communicate with the citizen. Uh, that's the two-way communication. And we storage all the communication there. So if you're discussing with your municipality whether you can build a new house, you will have all the uh, case built up in epox. The municipality can look at it, and the consumer can look at it, and it's all in the same archive. Um, and the last thing uh, we're doing right now is the uh, digitized signature solution. We do have very strong uh, references um, that, will, that have helped us a lot of uh, the way. Uh, the Danish National Bank, uh, Danske Bank, uh, is the largest bank in Denmark. Um, we are very proud of that the Danish government have chosen us f uh, three months ago for another five-year contract. Um, so we have, for the last five years, already uh, did that, or been doing that. We are part of the Confederation of the Danish Employers, so we do the vacation scheme for everybody in Denmark. So uh, if you count in how many days you are off, uh, it's managed uh, publicly uh, with this uh, association. These are the, this is the overview of uh, what we are doing. Um, if you look at the uh, experience, uh, it started off like saving stamps, I know. But we are now in the area of digital infrastructure. And the infrastructure thing is not only epochs. The infrastructure thing is that you need uh, an ID, a digital ID, you need internet penetration, you need uh, devices and portals and channels and everything else. Um, all this have evolved also uh, in the Basque region. Um, it is my really tight experience that uh, we cannot invent, as being the company Epochs, everything. 
this has been, EPOX has been evolved and it developed together with uh, very strong centers, the public centers and the, uh, the private centers. Uh, we might think that there's a common denominator for, for everything, but really bank number one wants it a little bit their way and bank number two wants it a little bit their way. And those of you who represent the public uh, sector would want it a little bit different in another way. So in order to accomplish all that, not uh, ruining the, uh, the infrastructure of the solution, uh, you need to be clever. And uh, I'll give you some examples of where the, the soft spots in this are. Um, right now, we are the leading provider in Denmark. We started two years ago in Norway, our brother country up north. It's almost like Norway. We thought it's not. So it's going to take us a long time to be smart enough and, and get the uh, acknowledgement of the Norwegian population and the Norwegian centers as well. And as of this Monday, two days ago, we, uh, we started in Sweden. Uh, we will launch uh, EBOX in Sweden uh, over the next month um, with a big partner, this biggest Swedish bank, or one of the biggest Swedish banks called Nodia. Uh, they have basically half the Swedish population uh, as customers. So it's a very, very strong partner to, to go with. This is a key point. You've got to do it on your own. You need partners. Right. If you look a little bit at our numbers, um, it has not always been like this, I tell you. Uh, right now, we have a fantastic number for 2014, and we are going to beat those numbers in uh, this year. We do have a lot of documents. We do have a lot of centers. We do have a lot of end users. Um, and if you look in your right corner, uh, the 4,200 4, tons of paper saved is also an argument in a lot of countries. Uh, it's an environment-friendly solution. Uh, it's not only stamps and envelopes. It's also at least two pieces of paper per document uh, we speak about here, which is uh, you can convert this into CO2 savings, uh, etc. But uh, 4,200 ton is a lot of money. If you, if you, uh, a lot of paper, if you think about it. Um, it took me five years to get a breakthrough in the terms of uh, users. It really took off in 2006, uh, and that was due to the fact where we um, got a strong agreement with one of the biggest banks. Um, if you look at what really drives us, um, there's no, there might be some of you in, in marketing and promotion, uh, there's no one answer to this. There's a lot of things that needs to be done. People need to know you, so you need to spend money on communication. Um, you need to do some clever promotions. If you do this, you get that, together with a bank, together with a public. Uh, you need maybe a brave sender who says, if you're going to have your insurance policy with me, I will force you to do this. You cannot have this good offer unless you do digital. This was radical doing that in 2006 and 7, but the Danske Bank, the Danish bank, did that actually. You cannot have an account with us unless you're going digital. Oh, people say, well, if uh, I don't want to do that. Okay, then we will charge you three euros if every time you get uh, an account statement. That helps. It, it, it works then. Um, 
and you need to do a lot of other marketing stuff. Right now, the internet and uh, the social media have evolved, so there's a lot of other ways now of, of reaching people, but this was uh, where we spent our money in the beginning. Um, I have actually uh, summarized all this in a small uh, demo film. It's a, it's a small feature film on eBox. It takes uh, less than two minutes, so uh, please watch this. Personal online mailbox, where you can receive and store those important letters and documents that you normally receive in the mail. No more piles of paper to be sorted and archived. Instead, you can choose to receive your letters digitally, for example from your bank, insurance company or municipality. You may also choose to receive your wage slips directly through eBox. We notify you by email each time a new item arrives. You can access eBox and read your mail from any computer or mobile phone as long as you're online. You may also add important documents to eBox yourself, for instance deeds, contracts, birth certificates, etc. When everything is in one place, you always know where to find it. You may also give your spouse or partner access to your documents in eBox. The choice is yours. All your important documents are 100% secure in eBox. eBox is owned by Nets and Post Denmark and is subject to the most stringent security requirements. For example, all communication between you and eBox is encrypted at all times, so you can feel completely safe. More than 3 million Scandinavians already use eBox. Not only does it provide a general overview, it also enables us to save thousands of tons of paper each year, which benefits both you and the environment. Free yourself of clutter and ring binders and gather everything in one place. Go to ebox.dk. It's simple and free, and with a digital signature, you can get started straight away. Now, this is what, how we see uh, the product now uh, itself. If you look at uh, the vision uh, for us, we are now traveling from cost-intensive snail way to digital documents. Um, we, sp we spoke already a little bit about the, the saving here. Um, if you look at what the value really is about, um, it's a more efficient process uh, when you do digital documents. The Danish health system, I'll give you an example now, a public example. The Danish health authorities send out uh, invitations for hospital visits, uh, you need a screening for this, you need a an investigation on this subject, etc., etc. Only one third of the people who are invited or have an appointment with the hospital actually shows up. Imagine uh, you have a hospital, doctors and uh, machinery and everything waiting for people never coming. Um, right now we have uh, a system where all those arrangements with your health, uh, the, the Danish health authorities are being prompted both by email and by SMS. We sent out an SMS the day before and then three hours before. Remember, it's at three o'clock, you need to be at this hospital. This has doubled from one third to two thirds of the uh, patients actually showing uh, up at the hospital and if we talk about one euro on postage and 100 euro on, uh, on a signing, imagine this is thousands of euro being saved per extra person coming into uh, this uh, health uh, appointment uh, seen from uh, where it was before. You could think that uh, senders are afraid of Will my customers not like me anymore if I'm going digital? Your, your customers will love you if you go digital. They don't want to be at home. They want to do different things at different times. Uh, it gives you definitely higher customer satisfaction. Um, on this system, it's not a maybe whether you got your document. There's 100% delivery performance on this. Our system is based on your social security number. If it is sent, it is sent. And it is in your mailbox 
Definitely. This is not email. It's a document box. It's a safe box. So it is there. We can see it. We can track it. We can log it. And if you end up in a lawsuit with someone who says he has sent something to you that you have never got, we can see if it's there or if it's not there. So it's a very strong thing uh, on the uh, security uh, area. Now, the users of ebooks, what do they get? Well, they get a free and lifelong archive. They don't pay anything. No users pay anything. We make the money on the sending part. Uh, that's the business model. They have all their documents in one place. They have a better overview. They have less hassle. Uh, and they have a small notification, either SMS or email, when they get something important. I'll give you uh, a public example more. In Denmark, when your car is five years old, it has to go to a car control in the public authorities. And if you forget about that, the police will cut your number plates. You will eventually get a fine, uh, and your wife will get mad at you because uh, she's got no car then. Um, now, we send out notifications on uh, those car controls. Uh, please show up this day, and you can actually interchange and change the date and make a new appointment, etc., etc. But you will have the uh, invitation there, uh, and you will have you will know where it is. And you can, of course, access it on your uh, eBox mobile app uh, when it comes down to it. Um, these are key things that works for both senders and users and creates value. And the value creation is actually what this is all about. I mean, if you're a strong government, you can make legislation. But if you want to have success with your citizens, it needs to make value when you use it. Being a citizen, you need to be happy about, well, that's a great solution for me. It makes my life easier. The renewal of your car license, the renewal of uh, your driver's license, uh, the renewal of whatever uh, is um, creating value. There's one more thing that I uh, haven't spoke about a lot. Um, that is that all consumers can use their mobile app with eBox, take a picture, and then it's automatically for free uploaded into eBox. So uh, we are a bicycling country in Denmark, and uh, no parent can ever find uh, the numbers for the keys, and etc. An important document, uh, you take a picture of the keys for your kid's bicycle, and it's automatically up uploaded in your e-box. I have a, a kid who's got asthma when we are on vacation. Uh, I have his prescription in my e-box, so when I'm in... Uh, in a pharmacy uh, somewhere in the world, uh, I can get exactly what I need because it's there. It's always where I need it. I carry a, a copy of my passport there and a lot of other things. People will use it for the first drawing from their kit, take a picture of it. Uh, other important moments in life uh, you can easily uh, upload to ebooks. It's not a picture archive and it's not indefinite uh, in terms of uh, how much you can put in. But it's for key important documents in your life. This comes on top of this service. And it costs you nothing as a consumer. And it costs you nothing as a sender, because this is part of what we do, what we provide into this. If we talk a little bit about the market drivers, uh, we already talked about uh, the internet and the, the widening uh, of the internet, both in terms of covering, but also in terms of usage, what you use your internet for. Um, it's, again, about uh, value creation. If you look at the internet today, you might think that everything is going mobile. We have asked 10,000 Scandinavians this question, will everything go mobile? Well, it will not. You will do different things on different devices at different times. 
if you have a moment for yourself uh, on a Sunday night, you do your tax scheme, it's maybe on your computer. If you just need to uh, read your notification for the hospital, it's maybe on your mobile device. And you see that picture. You do different things on different devices at different times. 14 years ago, e-security was a barrier because everybody was scared that CIA would read my uh, documents. They probably will anyway. <laughs> but um, isn't that dangerous? Uh, isn't that uh, really uh, dangerous for, for us as a consumer? Now, that barrier has gone down. And you need to balance the uh, user friendliness with e-security. So if you want high security, it takes a strong certificate to log in. If you need less security, you might have just a simple password uh, for a login. We provide both. So it's up to the consumer to do what they think uh, is right. These are some apps, uh, some, uh, some numbers on the Danish uh, society. Um, we do have more users than Facebook in Denmark, uh, which is an interesting uh, statement. These numbers uh, nobody could predict uh, some years ago. Would that really, uh, do you really carry 26.8 apps on your mobile phone? Well, Apple is probably providing the 21. Uh, so yeah, you do. Now, we're still in the visionary area here. This is the, uh, the journey of value creation. We started out with post-age savings. Then we uh, turned into digitization of processes, the two-way communication. Uh, we hope that we will end up being a preferred channel of communication for centers towards their consumers. This bank is doing that. We are part of their uh, integrated web bank. They're not afraid of writing our name, and some of the banks even carry our logo because we have a strong position there. So they, they don't see us as a threat and a competitor. Now you take our traffic to your portal. No, my portal in, is in their portal. So this is why it works uh, hand in hand. The two-way communication, I already covered that, I think. Um, so let's uh, talk about the, uh, the signature solution. Now, man and wife driving in their car to a bank, signing for a mortgage, uh, a new house loan, um, will take a lot of time and a lot of money for the consumer and for the bank. Right now, this transaction can be carried out uh, by the bank is putting the loan document in the e-box, and you as a consumer just log in, and then it says, well, we have a document for signing, please do your digital signing, and then you do your password again with your digital signature, and then you're done. It is a tremendous amount of money that we are talking about. This is uh, maybe, it, it's, it's not 100 euro per transaction, it's maybe 300 or 500 euro, uh, what this really takes. Uh, so this is where some of the future business uh, areas really uh, lies. Now, being a public authority, you might have a transaction with your citizens that are important that you need a signature on, uh, arrangements, uh, social things, uh, even health stuff that takes uh, a signing. Well, this is the way to do it. Let me uh, try to get into a little bit of the, uh, the public sector. How am I doing on time? <laughs> I'm talking a lot, I'm sorry. <clears throat> 
The public sector. I will admit, and you already said that in the, in the beginning here, the Danish society needs the money for something else. We do have low, low productivity. It's half what they're doing in Sweden. We have low uh, economic growth. Um, we, have, uh, we owe some money uh, in the government. We have an aging uh, population. We need to be more efficient. Digital solutions will help create people a friendly yet efficient public services. Don't be afraid. I'll skip a couple of these. Um, being a government, you cannot do everything in one night. You need to have a, a strategy that say, well, first we do this, first we do that, then we do this, this, and so on. You need to, to take this step by step. Uh, that's our experience. Um, what we are in the, uh, in the Danish society is that we need uh, money for, for schools, for hospitals, social initiatives, uh, employment initiatives, universities, and, and even environment. Now, um, you need a common and uh, a comprehensive strategy that you do agree of. Uh, every municipality has to be in. Every region, not necessarily like in, in Spain, you have 17 uh, regions. Uh, you can do it region by region, of course. But you need to have some sort of uniformity so it's not different from one street to the other. So, so your, regional, uh, your region uh, needs to, uh, to agree on this. The political leadership here is not that dangerous as you might think it is. Oh, everybody will scream on this. No, they will not. It, if it makes a value for your citizens, it will be easy. They will thank you for doing this. Um, on the left-hand corner, you can see there the legislation framework is important. Now, if someone ends up in a lawsuit and uh, the communication has been digital, Will it count or will it not count? You need to get your legal framework uh, right on that one. I never said that. Yes, you did. It's digital. It's here. So, so the legislation framework, uh, it takes time. It'll take years uh, to do this, uh, but that's a key component. Um, the Danish government did a full conversion of everybody in Denmark last year. That includes companies, that includes citizens. But they didn't do it overnight. It had taken them five, six, seven years to get all those bits and bytes uh, working uh, that way. Uh, so this is where we got the number from in the introduction of 90% or 90-something percent uh, of the Danish population is now digitalized. And the, uh, the Danish government is having efficiency bonuses of billions of Danish crowns on this. So we use those monies for schools, universities, the roads, and everything else. And uh, eBooks is also making a little money on this, uh, so uh, that's not a secret, of course. The next steps in uh, digitization um, you will have a lot of uh, brave people this day talking about uh, where this is all going. Um, we have used, uh, since last summer, Accenture for uh, giving good advice for us on, uh, on a couple of uh, issues at a couple of markets. Uh, and I have actually borrowed from them uh, another 90-second uh, video here that uh, highlights where we, uh, we think this, the future society uh, is going. So, um, let's see if this works as well.
Now, this is going to be the final remark. Um, there's a lot of uh, prediction of the future here from Accenture. Uh, but you need to prepare for an unpredictable future. Things will change. Uh, things will be different. You need to be part of the future. I think one of the strong drivers is of digitalization is that no one size fits everybody. You need, of course, to start somewhere, but you need to adapt. Um, if you look at what it creates of, of value, uh, it has to be, gives, be given strong usability, of course, but the service uh, experience is really the key point. Um, I will leave you now with uh, a lot of information here. I know, um, and it's maybe a little bit abstract uh, if you're not working within this industry, but it is the future, uh, and I thank you for listening to uh, the Danish uh, story of, uh, of e -box. Thank you very much.